Well, it's hard to believe, but it's back to school week for many kids in our area. Mm -hmm. Some kids saw something that they weren't expecting this morning in Danville. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstat shows us how unexpected guests helped them kick off the school year on the right foot. Good morning. Welcome to school. Walking into Forest Hills Elementary School, students may have been expecting to be greeted by teachers and school administrators, but police officers? Good morning. It's important to us that kids and their families you know, uh, get to know us, number one, and, and number two is feel safe. Danville Police Chief Scott Booth and a couple of officers hopped on buses, posed for pictures. Yeah, you want a picture? Okay, wow, I feel like a celebrity. And even handed out stickers at each one of Danville's schools Thursday. On your book bag? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a lot of work to do in our communities to continuously make people feel safe, but I think this is a great step. Parents agree. I think it's some, in some cases it can be a little um, worrisome to small children, but absolutely, I think a presence is um, important and it just shows that they are trying to make, you know, a point in the community of being around and aware. It's good to see the police out here because it gives the parents reassurance that, you know, the kids are going to be safe. And it's also good for the kids as well to be greeted by them, to let them know that they're friendly. This is the second year the police department has sent its men and women in blue to welcome students back to class. We get a lot of positive feedback that we're out at the schools and you know we you post it on Facebook, social media, whatever, and verbally people come up and, and say thanks. With everything that's going on in the world, it's always good for the kids to know that they can still come to the police for anything. Good morning. I hope you have a good day. In Danville, Coulter Rainstadt, 10 News, working for you.